Right? Yep, same guy. <laughs> oh, okay. Pokemon Research Lab. Now, what is the correct pronunciation? Do you know? Uh, well, I mean, it's kind of a tomato tomato thing. Some people say Pokemon, some people say Pokemon. I mean, it's it's it doesn't really matter. Okay. What's the plural? Pokemons, Pokemon. Oh no, no, it's it's just it's the same. Oh, okay, okay, so it's. So it's like a moose, moose kind of thing. Okay. Yep, pretty much. Whoa! <clears throat> Here at Pokemon Technical Institute, I study Pokemon as po Professor Oak's aide. Professor Oak may or may not look like much, but he's the authority on Pokemon. Many Pokemon trainers hold him in high regard. It's a full of Pokemon books. It's probably going to say that about all of them. Yeah. Study Pokemon. Nope. He, oh, he, he's a different guy. He just says the same thing. Okay. Maybe they're mass-produced via computer as well. <laughs> those are actually be. just like those are like actually just like <clears throat> just two instances of the same of the same person. Oh no, no, that that's the test subject for when they were <laughs> oh <okay. laughs> when they were testing out the Pokemon transfer system. What could this machine be? Better not mess around with it. Somewhere in the basement, they've locked up some guy who's like some like Cronenberg-esque monstrosity who came through it, came out of it all wrong. <laughs> like in the oh, Fly God. Two or something. Those are Pokeballs. They contain Pokemon. Okay. Oh, oh, is this Nick? Nick, what? It's only John. Gramps isn't around. It's like an encyclopedia, but the pages are blank. That's... In other words, it's the worst encyclopedia. Yeah, ever. I was gonna say that seems unhelpful. An email message here. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, it's from Squall. Oh wait, no. Finally, the ultimate trainers of the Pokemon League are ready to take on all comers. Bring your best Pokemon and see how you rate as a trainer. Pokemon League headquarters, Indigo Plateau. Professor Oak, please visit us. Hey, just going in there reading other people's email. Kid's kind of a jerk. Lights in different colors are flashing on and off. Ah, there's that's where the whole seizure-inducing light show is. It's, Lights in three in different colors are flashing. Okay. The save options on the menu. Use it regularly. Cram full of Pokemon books. Okay, so we will have to look elsewhere for the professor. Seems. I'll leave them to their crimes against nature. <laughs> Okay, okay, this this house is also apparently owned by the by the by the small boy living there. That's weird. Alright, what is this? Daisy. Hi John. My brother Nick is out at Grandpa's lab. There's a Pokemon on, on TV. Looks like it's having fun. Okay, so the lovely and sweet Clefairy. Yep. That is that is a Pokemon. Okay. So, okay, so now this is not like a this is not like a high fantasy type universe. Obviously, this is like a they have like modern technology, television stuff like that. Yeah, pretty much. Hmm. Lots of Pokemon <clears throat> books in this in this place too. I see. Nick will be a worthy worthy rival. Now, if you want things to actually progress, you have to like try to leave town. Oh, okay. Well, let's see if there's anything else. Oh, I guess there isn't. There's not a whole lot else. No, it's kind of. It's a very small community. Yeah, it's kind of odd to even call it a town, because you have these other people wandering around, and it's like, but where do they even live? There are no other houses here. <laughs> it's a very large homeless population in Palatown. <laughs> oh, hey, wait! I'll go out. Oh, there you go. It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. Okay, so some Pokemon are, like, hostile to humanity, then. I know. Come, here with me. Here, come with me. So are Pokemon just, like, animals, or, like, just, like, magical? Like, like, they're, they're, like there's Pokemon in the wild and such. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're pretty much just wild animals. Okay. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. D die so I can inherit the lab already. Nick, let me think. Oh, that's right, I told you to come. Just wait. Here, John. There are three Pokemon here. Ha! Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. 
But now, in my old age, I have only these three left. Had to sell all the others, the money went straight up my nose. <laughs> you can have one. Go on, choose. Hey, Gramps, no fair! What about me? Be patient, Nick. You can have one, too. Nick, your grandpa doesn't care enough to remember your, your name, apparently, so let's... Okay, now this is probably one of the most important decisions you'll actually make in this game. Oh. Uh, it pretty much decides whether you're on easy, normal, or hard mode. Oh. At least in the beginning. I see. Bulbasaur is your choice. It's very easy to raise. So, John, you want to go with the grass Pokemon Bulbasaur? Let's see what the other options are. Ah, yeah. Squirtle is your choice. It's one worth raising. So we're on the water Pokemon Squirtle. Ah, Charmander is choice. your choice. You should raise it patiently. So, John, you're claiming the fire Pokemon Charmander. Okay. Right. Right. Now, um, <clears throat> let me just break this down real quick. And uh, what I mean by easy, normal, or hard mode, at least in the beginning, is um, pretty much going by the types that the gym leaders use. Mm -hmm. um, because the first two gym leaders are rock type and water type, respectively. Okay. Um, both of them are weak to grass. So that would obviously be the easy mode choice. Okay. And... Um, you know, water is kind of normal-ish, because the first first gym leader is weak to water, but second one is water, so you're kind of neutral there. And <clears throat> then with with a fire Pokemon, it's weak to rock-type and water-type, so that's Whoa. what I mean by hard mode. Okay. Now you right? get just... <clears throat> It doesn't, like, change the story or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It's it seriously just, you know, determines how easy of a time you have with the first couple gym leaders. Okay. He's kind of the least <coughs> cool looking of the three, at least in my mind. And that's actually kind of funny, because I'm actually wearing a Bulbasaur shirt right now. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, in, in, honor of the, in honor of that, then, let's go with Bulbasaur. <coughs> He was also my favorite of the uh, Generation 1 starters. Okay. Alright, Bulbasaur it is then. This Pokemon is really quite energetic. Don received the Bulbasaur from Professor Oak. Do you want to give a nickname to this Bulbasaur? Yes. Yep, you can name any of the Pokemon that you catch. Oh, it's male. Okay, and it's, and the, it's male, I see. Okay. Now, funny thing, in the, in the original Gen 1... It didn't tell you whether each Pokemon was a male or female. Oh, really? Yeah, like, that was not a thing until Gen 2. Because in Gen 2, they actually introduced breeding, <laughs> which was not... It wasn't there in Gen 1. Oh, so okay. it didn't matter if right. you know, the Pokemon you had was a male or female. Right. Okay, well... Let's see. I don't know if you know if you know our friend Corey. I do not. Okay. So. Nick can tell you about him. He was one of the other people on the old Robot Geek site with us, where, where Nick and I met. Uh, oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, I've heard a lot about it. I'll take this one then. Okay, he's going with Charmander. Yep, and um, he will actually go with whatever one uh, your starter is weak to. So, like, if you had picked Squirtle, he would have picked Bulbasaur. Okay. So grass is weak to fire. Yes. It makes sense. Which, yeah, it makes sense. Honestly, a lot of the type weaknesses make perfect sense in this. Okay. There are a couple of exceptions, but for the most part, it makes sense. My Pokemon looks a lot tougher than yours. Screw you. If a wild Pokemon appears, your Pokemon can battle it. With it at your side, you should be able to reach the next town. Okay, so Pokemon World is a pretty dangerous place, I guess, if... Whoa, oh, wait. wait, John. Let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Uh-oh. First battle, go, go. Oh, no! Rival Nick would like to battle. Rival Nick sent out Charmander. Go, Cory! <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake. So pushy as always. 
isn't there like also just like valuable like potentially delicate scientific equipment around this lab that might get damaged by fire? That's very true. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if you actually thought about it in real world terms, then yes. But in 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 this game, at least, there's no like collateral damage that really happens as a That's result true. of a battle. <laughs> John, you've never had a Pokemon battle before, have you? Pokemon battle is when trainers pit their Pokemon against each other. The trainer, the trainer that makes the other Pokemon trainers Pokemon faint by lowering their HP to zero wins. Okay, so it's not to the death then. Right. That, I mean, that would be a bit a bit grim for a, like a kid's game. Now, um, some people do play it that way. Uh, they they do what's called a Nuzlocke run. Okay, I've heard of that. But like, yeah. It's like, if someone goes down, like they like they're like they're retired, right? No, it's Some... like they treat them as though they died. Okay. And well, they, I was, I was, they either was kind of a euphemism. they either put them in the PC and never take them out again, or they release them. Okay. So that's like hardcore mode then. Yeah, pretty much. Rather than talking about it, you learn more from experience. Try battling and see for yourself. Except we've got the fight Pokemon yep. bag run tackle growl. Okay, these are the moves I have. Okay, and uh, Growl actually does not do damage. What it does is lowers your enemy's attack. Okay. And now the PP, is that like your like your magic equivalent points or something? Yeah, pretty much. It's how many uses each each move has. Oh, so I have 40 uses of that and 35 of that? Yes. Okay. Yep, like I said, Growl lowers, lowers their attack and then tackles your actual attack move. Oh, lowering the foe's stats will put you at an advantage. Scratch. Sometimes. But sometimes it's also a waste of time. <laughs> Tackle. Wait, now he growled at me! Yep. Picking damage on the foe is the key to any battle. I mean, it's honestly pretty cut and dry. Now, what's the bag? Oh, the bag is like, you know, with your items. Ow! So like, so, like, that potion that you picked up earlier, it's in your bag. And since he goes first, you may want to actually use it so you don't lose. <laughs> oh, can I, can I use the... Oh, can I use... Does that, like, take place outside of the battle? Yeah, you can actually use it. Like, it'll it'll use this turn, mm -hmm. but... But, yeah. I can go, but it goes first? Yep. Okay, it's important to get to know your Pokemon thoroughly. Okay. This is a list of your Pokemon, John. Open this to check the skills and moves of your Pokemon. You also choose Pokemon here if you want to use an item on on it. Alright. Alright, Charmander, you are a dead man. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, see, he would have killed you that turn. Oh, Charmander fainted. Cory gained 69 experience points. Okay, no, okay, the experience points, they go to the Pokemon, not to you, I see. Right, right. Cory grew to level 6. Now, are these stats... Is the stat growth is it predetermined, or is there any random element to it? Um, there, there is a bit of a random element to it. If I remember correctly, uh, Gen 3 is where they actually introduced um, <clears throat> what, what's called Natures. Mm -hmm. And that pretty much determines... Uh, I guess loosely determines how your Pokemon stat growth is going to work. Okay. So, like, if it's if it's a certain nature, then their their speed will go up more than than their attack, or vice versa. And yeah, it's, okay. there, there's a bunch of different combinations to okay. it. Now, you mentioned different generations, and in a minute we can talk about what those are. Once we get out on the once we hit the road. Oh yeah. Play, player defeated rival Nick. What? Unbelievable. I picked the wrong Pokemon! What a jerk. John got 80... Those are Poke Dollars. Those are... Poke Dollars. <laughs> okay, those are... Okay, got 80, 80 Pokemon Land fun bucks for winning. Yep, pretty much. Hmm, excellent. If you win, you earn prize money. Your Pokemon will grow. Battle other trainers and make your Pokemon strong. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon battle to toughen it up. John, Gramps, see you later. No, smell you later. Smell you later. <laughs> oh. <laughs> because he's an asshole. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. I'd say this seems like a pretty dangerous world of like sending the kid to the next town requires equip equipping him with this magical combat beast to defend him from the wildlife. Yeah, pretty much. So beneath like the cheerful exterior of the game, it's like actually a very <laughs> grim. Yeah, it's actually pretty dangerous. Where horrible monsters roam the land and. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, that was wrong. All right, Mom, I may not be making it back alive. Um, John, you should take a quick rest. And that is actually a free way to, you know, heal your Pokemon without okay. the use of a Pokemon Center. Okay, now do they get their attacks back then after that? Yes. Good, you and your Pokemon are looking great. Take care now. <laughs>